So I just got this in the mail. That's um, that's pretty cool, right? Look at that number. Look, it's never a bad thing to get plaques and to have plaques hanging on the wall. It always feels super cool. But this, this number, it means almost nothing. Hey everyone, I'm Cole Caparoon. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Now, this plaque came from a platform called Muso AI. They're not a sponsor of this video. Uh, they have no idea I'm making this video, but they did send me this plaque. Now, as you can see, Cole Caparoon, 70 credits. So that means that this number is comprised of only 70 songs that I've worked on. And I, work, I have worked on 150 to 200 songs a year for years. I'm probably well over a thousand songs that I've worked on in my career, and I really should add up exactly how many I've worked on. And the other thing that this number doesn't count is Apple Music Streams, and it also doesn't count the views on the music videos on YouTube. So in all reality, this, this number is actually much, much bigger, but that is not the point of this video. I look at this number, and I post this number, I posted it on Instagram, and I, and I posted it on my Facebook, and there's people that are just congratulating me, like hundreds of people that are congratulating me, and that's really nice, and this feels really good. I love a plaque. First of all, I think that it's nice to have stuff like this to hang on the wall. Helps the legitimacy of your studio and whatnot, but I see a lot of people get hung up on this number, and I see a lot of people that think that they are not doing good in their career because they don't have a number that looks like this. And in the grand scheme of the music industry, this is a pretty small number. I've got personal friends with billions, with a B in that slot. Uh, many of those friends, actually. So, you know, it, this is a hard one because we get really hung up on numbers. I get hung up on views on this YouTube channel. Uh, we get hung up on the numbers of likes that we get on Instagram. Uh, certainly we get hung up on the number of songs that we work on and how much we're able to charge for those songs. At the end of every single year, we see all these artists share their end of year Spotify stats. And now I've railed against Spotify in many videos, and this video is not going to be about that. What I do want to say is that these numbers have very little to do with how well we're actually doing in our career. Let me explain. Let's put this over here. First of all, we all know how little money comes from actually streaming. Unless you're streaming in the tens of millions, you are probably not making enough money to quit your day job. So that number means nothing because of that, because no matter what that number look, looks like, unless it's in the hundreds of millions, um, you probably need income from other sources. Now, as a producer and as a mixer, that is comprised of the projects that I've produced, played guitar on or played an instrument on, mixed or mastered. So the number, whatever that number actually looks like when I get all my credits listed, uh, that number is comprised of hundreds of different artists and bands. But even if I was taking massive points on all of those records, it still would not be enough to pay my bills. I have to charge those artists. And I don't take points on anything at this point. Uh, don't take points at this point. But I still have to charge artists a flat rate or a fee, however you want to do it, to pay my bills. And that, that's how I make a living is by charging the artist to create music. And the artist that has that plaque or that has these numbers or, or shares their end of year Spotify stats likely that number, unless they are a very successful artist, likely that number is not enough to pay their bills. So how are they doing it? There's a couple things. One, playing gigs. Everyone is always doing something extra. They're either playing gigs or they are charging people to produce music or they have a YouTube channel or like there's some other thing happening. But I just want to get this point across that that number that we see, that number has very little to do with how well we're actually doing in our career. And it has absolutely nothing to do with how well we're doing in life. And it has almost nothing to do with how successful we are from a financial standpoint. And it's so easy to get wrapped up in these numbers. I look at friends of mine that have a couple hundred thousand followers on Instagram, and that number is in the billions. 
and you know their studio looks cooler than mine and they drive a nicer car than I drive and like I I I totally see that stuff and I see it all the time and for years I felt feelings about that situation in the same way that I'm sure some people feel about me we're always every one of us is always looking up going oh it'd be nice to be up there I'm sure there are people that look at my Instagram and that look at my studio and that look at that number and that look at the car that I drive and they say, oh, it must, it must be nice, what, maybe one day. And I just think that that is, it almost has nothing to do with how good we're actually doing. It's nice. It really is. It's wonderful to be able to promote what I do so effectively on Instagram. It took a lot of years of hard work to get there. It's nice to be able to hang that plaque on the wall. And when clients walk in the door, they're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But this whole thing is just, it's kind of fake. It's just, it's all kind of fake. Because what really matters in the, in the real grand scheme of humanity, what really matters is how impactful is your music? How much does your music mean to people? How much does it mean to you? And then on the business side of that, have you figured out how to monetize your music career in a way that is effective enough to pay your bills and to quit your day job? If that's your goal, of course. It doesn't have to be everyone's goal. There are lots of people that are just perfectly content doing it on the sidelines. Those are the metrics that matter. How impactful and meaningful is your music? And have you figured out how to monetize it enough to run a successful business? That number is not indicative of either of those things, as cool as it is. Now, I will say that it, I think it's cool to have these plaques. I love this kind of stuff. I love hanging them on the wall, and I love it being a reference for me, more so than what it means to anyone else who comes in and sees it. I like looking at that and being like, yeah, I've, I've gotten somewhere. This, this means that I've gotten somewhere. But I do think that we all get really wrapped up in these numbers and they just don't mean as much as most people would think they do. Now that plaque came from Uso AI. I did a whole video on them. None of it's been sponsored, uh, but I do think they are one of the most, uh, they're one of the best accrediting platforms that we have. I'll put a link below, no affiliation. Go check them out, sign up for a free profile, start getting your credits listed. It's, a, it's the best place to organize our credits currently. Uh, and if you work on music that gets released, I would highly suggest you just go sign up for a free account and just start getting your credits in order and get your credits listed. They've got a little ways to go. Um, I wish that they would count Apple Music. Um, and they, they're not, as of right now, they're not counting Apple Music spins. Uh, they say that they're working very hard on that. And I wish that that big number there also counted uh, music video views because nowadays that's a big thing. Like my wife just puts playlists on YouTube and just watches music videos in the background. Um, and so that if, if Apple Music was included in that and YouTube music video views was included in that big number, it would be, and once I get all the rest of my credits listed, I don't know what that number would be, but it'd be 10 times that likely. And giving credit Getting credit and giving credit to people who are involved in a project, I think, is very, very important because that is how we sell ourselves. That is like getting formal credit on a song that you worked on is the best way. When you send that song to someone else who might be thinking of hiring you, that's the best way to sell your services. So I do think accreditation is very, very important regardless of the number that is tied to that credit. But I, I just wanted to get that point across that we should not get wrapped up in the numbers. The numbers are not unimportant, but they are not nearly as important as people make them out to be. And if your number is smaller than someone else's, it's not a reflection of you or of the quality of work that you do. And it's also not reflective of how much you can charge. Because the one thing, and I'll say this, the one thing that determines how much you can charge is your demand, not your talent. Quality and talent does not determine what you are capable of charging. The quantity of people that want to hire you determines what you can charge. It's the only metric that matters. Demand determines your worth. 
I'll put links down below for Muso AI and for a whole bunch of other gear that I use. Those links go to Sweetwater anytime you guys need any piece of musical gear. You can jump on any one of my videos, click on any one of the links, and once you're on the site, you can purchase anything that you need, and it costs you nothing extra. It goes a long ways to help support this channel and help me keep help keep making me help me keep making videos like this one. I'm back to screwing it up again. So thank you, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for using those links. Anytime you need to purchase anything, drop your comments below. Subscribe if you haven't. Smash that thumbs up button 2024 style. I just had to get some YouTuberness in there. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.